Good morning and welcome to our show today. We have a lot to go through so let's jump right in. Firstly we would like to thank everyone who donated soup mix and toilet paper to the Hangberg collection. The handover was a huge success and everyone at Hangberg Primary are very grateful. Another fantastic community project was the beach cleanup that took place this past Saturday. Thank you to everyone who came and joined Ms. Harrison and the team. The whole event was a great success with drinks sponsored by the 41 restaurant. Another exciting event took, took place over the weekend that happened on the radio show Cape Talk. For those of you who listened in, we had missed the story featured on the Sarah J. King's radio show on Sunday morning to promote our very own Be Inspired talk series. We have Mr. Story to tell us about his radio debut. So tell us, how is it like being on live radio? Right, morning girls. Um, <laughs> yes, it was interesting being live on radio. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a different experience talking to somebody over the phone, but knowing that uh, what you're saying is being broadcast. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you get the questions before you went on to the show so that you could prepare? Do you get the questions to your test before you write? No. no. <laughs> so they didn't give me the questions either. Um, so, but I think the skill of a good interviewer is to ask questions which are going to set you up to be able to say what you need to say. Yeah. And she did that. So I found that part pretty easy. Um, and it gave uh, me a good opportunity to talk about our school and talk about what we're doing. Yeah. So were you nervous about making any mistakes or forgetting what you had to say? Not really. I think that when you're talking about something that you know about, um, then it's pretty easy. I, th I think if it was something that, that was foreign to me, it would have been much more nerve-wracking, but mm -hmm. because it's something that uh, we talk about all the time, yeah. it actually was pretty easy. So, yeah, I hope... Uh, I hope it got the message out and that uh, people are going to come and see the show. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Mr. Pleasure. Story. The next talk in the series is called Journalist on the Edge. Yes, we'll be hosting Karen Morn on the 8th of September, so get your parents to book their tickets now. Looking at this coming week, we have a PTA meeting for any parents that would like to be involved in school events on Wednesday evening at 5.30pm. And don't forget the new standard event, Coffee morning on Wednesday on the prep campus. And then on Friday, we are having a 5 round service day to support the Animal Foundation dog. So get your parents to pay for that now on the Carry App. Our theme for the service day is dress as your favourite animal or in spring colours. In sports news this week, we would like to wish all our teams good luck for all their matches. The netball teams are playing Bicklefield and the soccer teams are playing Seapoint and Crinandel. With the chess team having a match against Redham House, Make us proud, all of you. <laughs> Alright, it's time for our teacher talk. Oh yes, we are going to be joined by one of our eco-warriors, Miss Harrison. Hello! <laughs> Welcome, Miss Harrison. Could you tell us why you chose to go into teaching? Hmm, this is actually a very difficult question. <laughs> um, well, in the beginning, I did want to be a child psychologist as well. So, I studied that. Yeah. And then... Um, I also worked at a school for a little bit and I just fell in love with teaching. I felt like in my comfort zone, I was happy, I enjoyed going to work, so that is why I decided to go into it. Oh, wow. So we've he heard that you've travelled a lot, so mm -hmm. where's your favourite place that you've travelled to, local or international, and why? Oof, the international travel, I think, would definitely be South Korea. Um, just because I ate really weird food that yeah, you guys would know um, and it was just a completely different culture and experience I mean being in a place where people don't speak English it was just such a, a great learning experience for me as well so how did you communicate with them if they couldn't speak English um, I actually taught myself how to oh. speak Hangul yeah so every day on the bus on my way to work I would listen to um, an app that would teach me how to pronounce and oh. speak words, so I actually taught myself. Yeah, and in two weeks I was able to communicate a bit and be able to write as well. Wow. So, what is one of your favourite hobbies that is outside of school? I love fishing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love fishing. I know I'm like very hyper, but yeah, fishing is, is I enjoy it a lot. My dad and I go fishing a lot. 
Um, and I'm also a bit of a gamer, so I like Apex. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this morning, Ms. Harrison. We hope you all have a great week and don't forget to sign up for the Poetry Slam with Ms. Cousseau. Get your parents to sign up too or you can perform with them. And don't forget about Sylvie's Day on Friday. Bye! <laughs>